once upon a time in a distant village surrounded by tall palm trees lived a man named Masimba. Masimba lived alone in the village and spent most of his time up the palm trees tapping delicious palm wine. Every morning, Masimba would leave his home very early to go tap the early morning palm wine, which was highly sought after by the villagers. One morning, whilst Masimba was up on the palm tree, he saw a bright light coming from a palm tree not too far away. Masimba was curious to know where the light was coming from. So he quickly came down from the tree and began to search for the tree with the sparkling light. Masimba walked for some minutes, scanning through all the trees he passed until he finally sighted the tree that bore light. Masimba hurriedly climbed up the tree and to his greatest surprise, he heard the voice coming from the light that said, You have been chosen to be the light bearer. It is now your duty to bear the light and remedy the wrong. Then the voice said again, When the time comes, your light will shine. Masimba was in complete shock as he could only hear the voice speaking but could not see anyone. Who is speaking? Show yourself, Masimba said in fear. But the voice told him that in due time they would meet and Masimba hurriedly came down from the tree jittering in fear. His hands glowed for a short while and suddenly went back to normal and Masimba was perplexed at what had just happened. He rushed home and for two days Masimba could not go to the bush to tap palm wine. He was petrified at his last experience in the bush so he remained home. Me, a light bearer, what does this mean? Masimba thought to himself, staring at his palm, which looked normal. He rubbed his palm to see if light would illuminate from his hands, but nothing happened. And this got Masimba thinking, as he wondered what it meant to be the light bearer. After several days, Masimba summoned up the courage and decided to visit the tree once again. He began to ask the tree what it meant to be a light bearer, but his questions were met with silence. The next day, Masimba resumed his palm wine tapping and noticed that he tapped the best of palm wine. People began to order for large volumes of palm wine and soon later, Masimba became extremely rich. He moved out of his small hut into a bigger hut and became so popular amongst the people. Masimba became the sole supplier of palm wine to the royal family and many people wanted to be associated with him. One day, Masimba was on his way to the king's palace to deliver some palm wine when he came across a very beautiful woman. Her beauty was like no other and Masimba could not help but fall in love with her. Masimba tried speaking with her but the young lady did not respond to him as she calmly walked past him. Masimba could not get his mind off the young woman and decided to look for her in the village. He searched the whole village but couldn't find her. So, every day, Masimba decided to stand at the spot where he saw the beautiful woman last, hoping 
that he sees her again. Every day, Masimba was hopeful and he would wait at the same spot for hours. He did this for months and never gave up. One evening, after Masimba had waited at the spot for hours, he decided to head back home when suddenly he saw the beautiful woman he had been looking for approaching him. Masimba's joy knew no bounds. As he approached the young woman, he asked what her name was, but the young woman looked at him but said nothing. Masimba was confused as he wondered why the woman had refused to speak to him the second time. Masimba then decided to secretly follow the young woman to find out where she lived. He trailed her for hours till he got to the entrance of the forest and the young woman stepped into the forest. Masimba continued to follow her till they got to a place where several huts laid. Masimba saw that a family was living in the forest and wondered why. He returned back to the village and began to ask questions. It was then he was told that a certain man and his family were banished from the village many years ago because the man was caught with some missing relics from the royal household. The man vowed that he never stole the relics but found the relics behind his hut and was about returning them to the royal household when suddenly he heard someone screaming, Thief! 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 At that point, no one believed his innocence, so the king banished him and his entire family into the forest and banned them from ever speaking with the villagers as any one of them who dared defile the king's orders would be killed. Since then, no one heard from the man and his family as they lived in the forest and never associated with the villagers. When Masimba heard this, he now understood why the young lady refused to speak with him. He got home and could not stop thinking about the banished family in the forest. The next day, Masimba was on his way back home when he saw a thief robbing an old woman of her belongings by the bush path. Masimba rushed to save the old woman from the hands of the thief as he pushed the thief to the ground. Suddenly, the thief began to tremble, saying, I will confess. He said this repeatedly and began to reveal all the things he had stolen and people he had stolen from in the village. Masimba was in complete shock as he wondered what had come over the thief. People began to gather around the thief as they listened to all his atrocities. They then decided to take the thief to the king and it was there the thief revealed that he was the one who stole the relics from the king's palace years ago. What Masimba did not know was that he was the light sent to reveal the truth about the palace relics so as to set the family free from banishment. The king on hearing the thief's confession first paraded the thief around the village for all the villagers to know what he did. Then the king banished the thief to the evil forest and no one ever heard from him again. The king then sent his guards to go look for the family he banished years ago. He told his guards to bring the family to his palace and the guards did as the king had instructed and brought the family before the king. The king then reinstated the family into the village and apologized to them 
for wrongfully punishing them for a crime they did not commit. The king then went on to bestow upon them great riches for all the years they suffered for someone else's wrong. Although they wept at the fact that their father was no longer alive to see that his name had been vindicated, they were happy to regain their freedom and ability to mingle with other villagers without fear of being killed. The young lady, on hearing the role Masimba played in restoring their dignity, approached Masimba to thank him. Masimba was so excited as he never believed a day like this would ever come. He asked the young lady for her name and she replied, Zendaya. Immediately, light shone from Masimba's hands and he saw a man standing in the distance. Only Masimba could see or hear the man who told him that he was Zendaya's late father who was accused of stealing the king's relics years ago. The man told Masimba to take good care of his daughter as he could see that Masimba loved his daughter dearly. Then the light disappeared and Masimba was glad to have been the light bearer. Masimba and Zendaya began to spend more time together and soon later got married and had children. The lesson to be learned from this story is that the truth always has a way of coming to light. Never accuse people falsely as this can have a huge impact on them. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.